Well, life has taught me when a pelican's on the ground, this close to the road, something's not right. So I want to take a look at this fella. Not able to get off the ground. Well, just to be here on the grass isn't normal behavior. Yeah. So I think if we can capture him, it'd probably be better for him. I think he'll end up a dead pelican otherwise. Wow. Only with Jay Lepore is it possible to have an experience quite like this. What you got there, Jay? We have here is a full grown male pelican who was just floundering around by the roadside. I was here with my friend Robert Festa and together we stopped and were able to slow him down. I can see something right here on the side of his bill. See that stick broke, right there? Broken? Could oh, be a fish a hook, fish. could be a bone. I see. But something is probably preventing him from eating. And as a result, I mean, I don't know that that's what that is, but it looks like it might be. And uh, he's very weak or he would never allow me to pick him up. So, or actually at least chase him down. He was able to fly, but not very far. So we're gonna bring him to a, a some kind of a rehab place and get him all fixed up. I'm purposely holding the wings in so to protect him against you know breakage from flailing around and of course keeping the beak quiet so uh, we don't end up lashing out at me sure is beautiful you want to get can you get close in on him I'll try let's see what we can get here oh he's afraid too. Yeah. he's afraid all right so I've got to get my we've got to, I've got to get a towel around him how big's your towel this is a um, this is a poncho. It's very big, yeah, but it's very slippery also. Yes, it is. It's going to be hard to get. I've got a um, a hoodie in my car Hi. that I can put around him. I think it'd do a good job. Okay. Got my friend Robert here, and uh, Hi, Jay. Yeah. Good Hi. morning, Steve. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. We're cruising. What are we doing today? We're cruising in the Merritt Island Wildlife Refuge. You know, I was just telling Robert a minute ago um, if. Nothing. If if nothing else happens, if I did nothing else but fly here from Washington and come here and find this pelican and uh, with Robert and rescue it, if I did nothing else but that single event and got back on a plane and went back to Washington, I would be happy for the rest of the year. So it's uh, I'm really honored. It's a real treat. Thank you. All right, this is our guy right here. I want you to take a look at those blue eyes. You'll never get this close to a, a male pelican before. It's still quite apprehensive, quite scared. It's a wild animal. I'm gonna cover it up pretty quickly. I just wanted to share it with you. At a wildlife refuge, refuge building, uh, Robert's gone in to see if they can recommend where to go with this pelican, so. All right, my friend Robert here is calling the Florida Wildlife Hospital. We've got a phone number from the visitor center. My friend and I have found a, an adult male pelican. Uh, we are in Titusville right now. We're just on the outskirts of Titusville in the outskirts of the Merritt Island Preserve. And we'd like to get this guy to the right person. We're in Titusville. Titusville. Uh, at in the, in the Merritt Island yeah, in the Reserve. In the Merritt Island Reserve, but we are in the town of Titusville. Okay. And you have the pelican in hand? He's in my left arm session? as I speak, yes. Um, what's wrong with it? Uh, it was sitting by the roadside. We were in the reserve. It's a long two-lane stretch that goes on forever. And this pelican was totally out of place, uh, standing in the grass on the, you know, on the right side of the road. 
and uh, so I knew that was an unnatural situation. So I appreciate what you do over there at SeaWorld. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm well aware of the the rescue uh, that you have for the wild, for the birds, and of course a variety of other things. Um, I used to work at a uh, volunteer at a wildlife ref rescue place here in Orlando, and all the water birds we went to you with. Yeah. That's much appreciated. You bet. Okay. It's called the Merritt Island National Wildlife Refuge. Okay. And the phone number is 321. Right. 321. 861. 321861. Got it. Okay. 0667. Zero six. Now, what you're doing is you're giving me the number for the headquarters of the Merritt Islands National Wildlife Refuge. Yes. Okay. They don't take in. I'm at the actual visitor center. We're at the visitor mm -hmm. center right here. Are you suggesting that they would give us the local resource because at the information center here they don't take these animals? They were referring me. They were referring me to Florida Wildlife Hospital which is, I believe, a, lot mm -hmm. a private nonprofit. And, and these guys are open seven days a week, but they didn't take the call. It went to voicemail for some reason. Uh, so we're looking for the alternatives to Florida right. Wildlife Hospital. Well, we don't need the refuge number. No, we no, need no, a rescue here. number. Yes. Yes, yeah. 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 Uh, uh, Refuge, rescue. They so do sound a lot alike. We're, ref we're rescue <laughs> volunteers. Okay, and, I'm going to give you a different phone number. Okay, thank you. Um, Four zero seven four six one seven three two nine. Seven three two nine. Okay, terrific. And that will connect you right to um, the injured orphan or er, bird. Lovely. People. Oh, that that's will, that's terrific. That help you better. That's great. Thank you very right. much. I'll call there right away. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you. you. Bye. Now. All right. Bye. 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 A bigger piece of paper? Yeah, I'm running out of. <laughs> I'm running out of. I'm How about your out. notes area on your phone? Okay. I hate to go techie on you, but yeah, don't. Don't, <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. Now, unfortunately, we don't have, have a box, box at this point. Have you have a box? Go get the box. Oh, box. that's yeah, like a, a carrier a car, car for carrier? Uh, for uh, animals. Yeah. Really? really? Uh, oh yeah. Uh, well, we'll look at it. It hasn't blinded me. We're now at the ranger station at Canaveral National Seashore. Uh, the ranger has indicated he is going to get a container, come out and hold him here until Florida Fish and Wildlife come out to retrieve him. At this point, I want to get some water into this bird. I'm going to try to get some water. I'm going to try to get some water in this beak of his without him becoming unglued. So, Does that hurt at all? Right. I might ask you to do a little pouring, actually, while I'm... Yeah, you position his... All right, I'm going to open his bill, and if you can pour a little of that in there... Well, it has to be kind of back. No, 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 okay. Go ahead. There you go. Okay, right, clear. Up. Yeah. He's drinking it. I can see the throat moving. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, it's all some back out Some again. came out, but he drank some. I definitely saw him take it down. Okay, there we go. Okay. I'm going to put him back under wraps. Too, too distressful. Well, I'm sitting here outside the ranger station. Robert and the ranger have uh, gone into the building to try and find a container. Oh, shit. I don't like the container they found. So here comes the ranger and Robert with a trash can. I don't need any more pictures of them. All right. They have me in the paper. <laughs> so, for what? So that's uh, it, huh? Park opened back up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, after the shutdown? Yeah. You got a cover for that thing? Yeah. All right. You got it with you? Mm, no, it'll be fine. All right. Yeah, he won't fly out. Okay, he's going back to get the cover to that. I don't he feel... He was, he was suggesting a much smaller kind of storage container. I saw that, yeah. And I said, you know, I think this bird will be a lot more comfortable if it could actually stand up. Yeah, so it's going to be very dark in there, but hopefully, uh, Which oh my God, what is this? Well, he also has a piece of screen Didn't in there. Didn't I see a top to that thing? 
There's no top to it, but he has a screen right. in there that would cover this. All right. All right, here we go. Here's the okay. top coming at it. Right. Now, as soon as I show him the light of day, mm -hmm. he is going to freak out. Huh? Oh, he's already snapping. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right, come here, buddy. Yeah, this is not ideal, I got to tell you. This is it, huh? Yep. That's the biggest thing we've got in there. Maybe we can get a box. Give him a little I'm, I'm more concerned about the lack of horizontal space. He's just well, so shut down. I think in the, in the meantime, if you can find a big box, yeah, maybe, we'll bring it back. There you go. Good idea. We can think about transferring. He doesn't even have enough neck room. But what I'm gonna, I can't even get him in the damn thing. Well, I've got another container that's uh, much wider. Yeah. So if you get some, hold on to him. I think he'll fit in that box. That yeah, I originally the, the was big box, do. the yeah. black, big, black box. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully a better solution coming. Hopefully. All right, that's good. Yeah. Let's take a little look here. <laughs> yeah. He's snapping. Yeah, he, he, come here. I got it. All right, there we go. Okay, this looks like we got a little more horizontal space. No, 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 no. See, here's the noise. thing I got. All right, we'll look at it. I won't be too happy in here, but. No. Let me put some stuff in there. there. contact our law enforcement folks and they'll come down here and yeah. do what we got to do. This is wing in. Yep. yep. Everything's on. He's oh, okay. all in. Grab your, grab your jacket. Shh, shh, shh. Oh. Almost as soon just give him the jacket. I hate to give it to him, but well, you can always come back. You know, he's pick it up. Yeah, so let, him, let me leave it with him. Okay. All right, you got it. Yep. Okay. Yeah. okay. Now, what we gotta do is take him over here. <laughs> yeah, can we get it? I've got to unlock it. Oh, oh, oh! Yeah, popped it right back up. Didn't okay, it? so he's got plenty of strength. He'll have to. Put something on top of this puppy. Yeah. <laughs> and that's good. That bodes well for him. He he's more likely to survive. Oh, this has. Alright. And what will it have for air? I'm gonna crack it open. I'm gonna find something to put uh, on top. How long a period of time you think before somebody gets down here? It won't be long. I'm going to contact our law enforcement folks. All right. Yeah, this will be heavy enough. There's a bunch of batteries. Oh, yeah. That will weigh it down pretty good. So if you could do me Get a favor. Get something in a little space. A little pressure there for me. A per pressure on the back? No. Pressure where? What does that mean? Just hold oh, it. Oh, yeah, oh yes. Go. Good you. idea. There we go. There you go. Pelican. Don't want to get in the way. He's taking a picture. It's a new <laughs> friend I'm a, I've got. <laughs> there we go. All right. That he'll be good. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you very much You're for welcome. your help today. Nice. Good day to you. Take care. Appreciate it. Who did you contact? We contacted Florida. I, I have all my notes in the car, but okay. Florida. Uh, Fish and Wildlife. No, Florida Rescue Hospital. And they're coming out. Nobody's coming Nobody's out. Nobody's coming, coming out. Everything everything went to voicemail. Okay. We called uh, SeaWorld. Okay. Their wildlife their wild bird. Okay. Um, went to voicemail. They okay. said that they were twenty four sevens. All right. And and then okay. there was another the Marine Science okay. Center up in um Ponce Inlet. Okay. Uh, but we had to bring it to that. Where, we had to bring where exactly it to. did you find the pelican? Uh, just past or just before Hallover Canal okay. going to the north. All right. Okay. And mm -hmm. the last I, I, my friend Reed suggested we bring it here. Yeah, we'll contact And so that definitely. you would be able to have somebody come to this point and appears that was the best shot. Okay. So. All right. All right. Well, thanks. Yeah, you we bet. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Good well, day to you. Well, Take care. He'll be, he or she will be okay. All, All right. right. I'll contact our law enforcement folks. And, and why don't you exchange telephone numbers so, or give him your card so well, that he can get I his can jacket give back. You, 
I'll be back. I'm going to okay. see if I can find your boss out there. She's, uh, she's out of the admin area. She's doing some kind of... All right, so this is the end of the road for uh, Robert and I and our pelican friend. You can't see him, but he is in there. And oh, there he is. Yeah, you can see him. Yeah, he, he didn't want any part of that, but he seems quiet and plenty of air. And uh, they're waiting for uh, Wildlife Rescue to come and get him. And I'm not going to take a video of this guy that's standing to our left. I'll just show you that he is law enforcement and uh, a real nice fella, and I'm confident he's in good hands. So that'll do it. Okay. All right, Robert. Good day. Let's get out of here. Well, it's the next day, and um, I can't help wonder, wondering if the pelican ended up where it was supposed to end up. Uh, I know we gave it to the authorities, but their lack of preparedness to receive an animal left me in deep question as to whether that animal was looked after in the way that it needed to be and forwarded on to the to proper authorities in a timely fashion. So I'm uh, in the car right now. I've got Robert in front of me. We just had breakfast and he's going to take the drive over there with me and we're going to check on that pelican this morning. So I just couldn't rest. I couldn't let this story be finished without knowing it ended up in good hands. So I might be late, Rose, uh, in getting to Ocala this morning because of this uh, unplanned diversion, but hopefully it'll be a happy ending and I don't find a dead pelican sitting in the bottom of a bin because nobody did what they were supposed to do. This is the causeway. We're going over to Cape Canaveral. And that's Robert's van in front of us. He's going to pull over in a minute and I'll uh, he'll jump in my truck and we'll finish the journey over to the center. <clears throat> okay, back to Cape Canaveral. See if the pelican's still in the bin. Nope. No, bin's gone. No, bin's here, but the pelican. Bin's here, but it's closed up and locked down, and everything that was sitting on top of it is gone. Oh, there's my jacket. Mm -hmm. It's open. <laughs> okay. Hello, hello. Don't come out shooting. Oh, man. There we go. Empty bin. Hallelujah. Okay. I'm happy. And you get your jacket and back. Nice. Thank you, Very Robert. Nice. Appreciate Very it. Nice. All right. I'll consider this a mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. We uh, already treated him for the parasites, and he's back out into our flight cage. And he's flying around, and he's doing really well. Okay, because one of the things, just for the record, one of the things I noticed when I was handling that bird, I used to work at a, a bird rescue facility years ago as a volunteer is in in the lower and you and you folks may have already looked them over really well but in the lower part of his pouch where the you know where it meets the base of the neck there was something hard down in there uh, there, was there, there was something bony there something hard uh, okay. something that didn't feel okay. right to me and it was only on one side of the pouch and not the other so i had a um, sense that something was lodged in there okay do you guys think often get the barbs from the fish stuck in their pouch. Right, sure, sure. And sometimes they even pop all the way through the skin and fall out. Is that right? Yeah, and he does have some little scabs there. Okay. So that's, it's possible that's what happened, but okay. we'll keep an eye on him and see if we notice anything. Well, I, I'm just happy I was able to bring that to your attention because I haven't been able to... T I was afraid that, that there would be no way for me to translate that and if it were there and nobody knew about it. But do you know if he appears to be eating or you just don't know at this point somebody else is handling it? Um, he is eating. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. All right, yeah. He, is he, he was able to fly, but he was not able to get more than about oh, three or four feet off the ground. And he could do it at great lengths, um, but, but that was the extent of it. That's how I ended up getting him. Yeah. Uh, I think he was just super weak. Yeah, yeah. 
Well, all right. Thank you very much for catching them and bringing them in. You're welcome. And if you have, a, you know, I've got a video of some of that that uh, process of, res of picking up that pelican and finding him and getting him into the car. Yeah. And this phone call puts a fitting ending on uh, that whole saga. I'm very, that whole saga, I'm very, very happy and elated to hear it made it to a safe place. Yes, yes. Huh? Thank you. Okay. Thank you for bringing in. You bet. Have a great day.